Guys, I got, um, I went to the store and got Subway because I have money right now, a little bit left, so, you know, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. It's a $6 hoagie thing, and I think today's the last day, so I went down and got it, and I got a buffalo chicken sub with pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and spinach, and mayo. This is the beaut, but I also got some knock of some, like, um, candy from this... It's, um, it's Valentine's Day candy that is on sale for 50% off. It's two something for this. So I'm guessing it was five something. Um, like 525 or something because it was 270 something. And it's Russell Stouffer's, um, the same kind of candy that I tried yesterday that was fucking disgusting. But those were eggs. And I have a little bit of better hopes for this even though I don't know what's in it. It's assorted. That's all it says. So, let's just... Pop this baby open. Does it have a... Oh, it has, like, the slip thingy, whatever that is. Does it have a... It doesn't have a map of what's in here. Some of these look pretty... Uh, I don't know. That's what it looks like, right? I don't know. Guys, I really don't know about this. Um, I'm gonna turn into this hoagie. I have a bag there in case those chocolates are disgusting. So, apparently there was a mix of the Oscars the other night. I don't know when they're actually filmed. That's why I'm saying the other night. Um, I know when they were on TV. Which was last night. This is Raspberry Gold Peak. It is, actually, it's Pure Leaf. Never mind. I'm the kind of person that will drink any kind of tea. I do not discriminate. Um, but yeah, they, they, uh, announced La La Land, and it was actually supposed to be, um, Moonlight. I've never seen either movie, so I can't sit here and give, like, a detailed thing about the performances or whatever in the actual movie. Um, everyone's talking about, oh, diversity, diversity, it wasn't diverse. Neither movie was technically diverse. I didn't see either movie, but... From the outside, both movies looked like they were all a singular race that made up the movie. And I don't have a problem with that because that, you know, if those... Here's, here's why I don't have a problem with that. If the role was written by a director and they were looking for a certain kind of person, whether that be the race, the language they speak, their hair color, their eye color, whatever, they have, you know, they have the right to want those someone that looks that way or sounds that way or, you know, has that, you know... Those features. There's nothing wrong with wanting somebody that looks that way, whether it's someone who's black or someone who's white. And but being that, you can't have a cast full of white people and say it's diverse, and you can't have a cast full of black people and say it's diverse. And if it's a movie that isn't set in China, you can't have a you know a okay. If it's a movie that's set in China, likelihood that most of the characters that are written would be Chinese is very high. But if it's set somewhere outside of China, where there's a diverse population, and you put all Chinese people in it, it's not going to be able to accurately be called diverse, is it? But, everyone wants everything to be diverse, and I understand that. It's very important that we represent everybody. Moonlight was a big deal in another way, too, in that it was talking about a gay teen who wasn't a white person, because... I'm not even gay, and I've noticed a pattern of like, oh, if you're gay in a movie, you have to be white. If you're a lesbian in a movie, you're white. If you're, you know, there's there's a huge pattern of gay teens in movies being represented by only white people, and um, I don't think that's right at all. I'm not even gay, but everything exists in every way. Um... And I think that if you're sitting there going, oh, well, it's okay because it's a white teen and there's a lot of white teens that are gay out there. There are a lot. That's who you see most often whenever you hear about coming out stories. But that's got to make people of other races who are homosexual feel alienated and alone. Um, and I don't know if it's less common, if it's genuinely less common for people of color to be gay or what. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, you know, I'm not somebody that does studies and stuff like that. I wouldn't think it would be, because 
just one of those things that has a lot of variables to it, so. And I don't talk about people, like, I don't talk about gay stuff and, like, race stuff and stuff like that. I have opinions on it, but anytime I try and touch on it, I get attacked. I literally get fucking attacked and bullied and demonized. Probably because I choose to open my mouth on Tumblr and nowhere else. And everyone on Tumblr seems to think that everything has to go one way, and that if you have a differing opinion from that way, that you're automatically wrong. Unless your opinion is kill all of a certain demographic that has never done anything to you. Because if you have that opinion, you're obviously wrong. I could, I could eat their buffalo chicken at least once a week for the rest of my life. That's what this is, guys. And at first I was going to ask for extra meat, but I wanted it to be an even $6. Um... The reason I was going to ask for extra meat was because it didn't look like a lot. But. I used to get extra meat whenever I would get a buffalo chicken sandwich from them all the time. But I don't need the extra calories anyway. Mm. And what I get on it, as I said earlier in the video, is lettuce, tomato, onions, and spinach. And I told them to put mayo on the bread before they put anything else on it because I don't know if you've ever asked for mayo, but they don't ask you, like I don't know if you've been to Subway and you, because some people don't go to Subway, they don't eat out at all. There are people out there that don't. I respect that. But the way they make a sandwich is ass fucking backwards when it comes to the condiments because they will make your entire sandwich and then they'll get to the end of the line if you don't tell them what I told them. And they'll be like, um, any condiments? And you're like, I want mayo. But you can't just scrape everything off the bun and put the mayo on. And you tell them mayo and they squirt it on top of fucking everything and it's like, Because, raise your hand, like, let's act like this is a class full of people and I can see you even though I can't, but raise your hand if you make a sandwich with the bread and you either put butter or mayo, whatever you use, if you eat it dry, that's completely up to you, but if you were gonna, if you, if you, even if you eat it dry, I can put you in this equation, like, if you were gonna put something on it, you would put that on the bread before you put everything else down. That's normal logic. So Subway, I don't understand that. Like, and how hard would it be just to readjust that order? Just be like, um, do you want mayo or anything on the bread before I start making your sandwich? Like, it would not be hard to do. Like, I'm sure you'd have some dumbass complaining like, oh, we gotta train all our sandwich artists again. We gotta tell them to do it differently. No. You put a note up in your restaurant. For your staff at your restaurant to slowly internalize. That says, ask customers before you continue making their sandwich if they would like mayo on it or anything like that on the bread before you put anything else on it. It's not hard to do. Hell, it's probably weird for the people that work at Subway because I'm pretty sure when they go home, 
or they're in their natural habitat and they're making themselves a sandwich, they probably don't just like fucking mayo on top of everything. And I know some people, they don't put it on both slices of bread. Satan. I put it on both slices of bread evenly before I start putting anything on my bread. Um, I know some people, they put everything on one slice of bread, and then they put mayo on the last piece that goes on top. First of all, that's a good-ass way to have a soggy-ass fucking sandwich. Mayo acts like a buffer, does it not? Like, it, I don't want to call it lubricant, because lubricant sounds wet, but there's just, like, layer of mayo in between everything that makes your sandwich soggy normally, like the tomatoes and whatever, and the bread. Like, you don't want a dry sandwich, but you don't want a soggy fucking sandwich either. That's why I don't get people to eat their sandwiches dry. Like, unless you're just eating meat and cheese, which if you're just eating meat and cheese, you're going to have some, like, I was going to stick to the roof of your mouth, so I hope you have some strong drink to drink with that. And I sincerely hope you're the kind of person that flosses after every meal, because otherwise, your mouth is going to feel disgusting in, like, an hour. The pizza I ate on camera yesterday was disgusting, so. I wanted to eat something that was a little bit more yummy. Because I hate eating things that taste gross, because then I'm not really into it. I haven't, like, counted my calories for the past couple days. I need to get back on that wagon. So, um, it is early in the morning. I'm not eating this, like, late at night because if I did that, I feel like that would be a really bad idea. Look at it. Yum, yum, yum. Question. When you go to Subway, what kind of sandwich do you get? If you don't go to Subway, why not? Not like a pick a fight why not, but just what's your reason, genuinely? And if you don't go to Subway but you want to, what kind of hoagie are you going to get? when you go. That's the common question of the day. I also wanted to do this video in one take because I've been doing little clips and stuff and just like cutting my videos together. And sometimes I record like three portions of a video that are like 15 minutes long a piece and then I just cut them down because I don't want my video to be over 45 minutes. When the buffalo sauce on the chicken mixes with the mayo and the melted cheese, it's just great. I've gotten other kinds of hoagies at Subway. Y'all know that from watching my videos where I ate the chicken. Or the... The, um, oven roasted turkey. And then I think I got the Italian BMT, which I still don't know what B, M, or T stands for. Imagine if it was just the most basic sandwich. Bread, mayo, and tomato. Like you go to Subway, you're like, here's an Italian BMT, and you just get a thing. It's a piece of bread with mayo and tomato on it. You're like... But, 
That's not what the picture looks like. They'd be like, yeah, but that's what it is. I've been tempted to ask him, but I never think about it while I'm in line at Subway. It's always like, after I get my food, I'm sitting at home eating. I'm like, motherfucker, I forgot to ask him what the fuck that shit stands for. I think it's like a big meat trio or something like that, because you get pepperoni, salami, ham. I think there's something else on it too, but I'm not sure. Now I'm going to try one of these chocolates. Let me see if there's a map of it underneath. No. I'm thinking these are going to be weird. They're hard. They're hard. Yeah. They are hard as fucking balls. Uh, this is probably coconut. I'm going to try this one. I don't know what's inside of it. Probably coconut. There are ways that I can eat coconut, but it's probably about this much coconut, and that's my coconut threshold. Mmm. I don't know what that is, but it's good. It's like caramel type, but it's like nougat texture and has like a nougat flavor to it. Mmm. I think there's nuts in it. I think this is like a toffee thing. But toffee is like tough to chew, right? Okay, so, y'all have a friend on Facebook, everyone has this friend on Facebook, they're like, oh my god, I'm so blessed, and then two seconds later, I feel all alone, and nobody loves me, and then next later, oh my god, it's great here, and then the next fucking second, oh my god, nobody loves me, I ain't got no friends, no, 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 I'm just gonna eat my feelings, I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut up, you bipolar ass bitch, <laughs> I know people that are actually bipolar on several levels, but the thing is, a lot of those people that are actually bipolar don't act as fucking psychotic as other people that aren't even bipolar. But that guy I know is one lady. I don't know her, know her. I just heard in passing that she's bipolar. First time I met her, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared because she was like real sad and I didn't know what was going on because of the way she was talking about things. But I also think she was having like, a really hard day, too. And she was upset. And I got scared. Not in the, like, oh, you're going to hurt me, you're crazy kind of way. But in, like, a what do I do if she starts crying. Because I don't want to... I don't want to seem judgmental. I don't want to seem like I'm making fun of her. Because I actually do feel bad for people like that. There's been times in my life where I have had, like, no control of my emotions whatsoever. Where... I just had, like, panic attacks and was sad all the fucking time and I didn't know what to fucking do. And it does not help when people tell you to calm down. I'm hoping I win the Lay's Do Us a Flavor thing. Because I could really use a million fucking dollars. 
You don't know what I would do with it. I would use it to, like, make an intro for my channel. I would use it to go places. I would import my boyfriend. Me and him joke about the fact that we both are dating imported people. <laughs> like, because I haven't gone to England and he hasn't come here yet. But the thing is, like, I have not met anybody in the States that li that is, you know, that makes me feel as happy as he does. and makes me feel as loved as he does, you know. And he feels the same way about me. And it's like, so we can joke about, oh my god, she's, he's, he's imported, she's imported. It's, you know, it's like, it's like a little joke that we have. If he tries to visit me and Trump tries to keep him out of this country, I'm going to just fight the president. Especially since fucking Trump's wife, you know, if she wasn't fucking him and married to him, she would be out of this country. And I think it's a little fishy that Trump hates the media, thinks the media is fake, but he's the one keeping him out of the fucking White House and shit so that they can't tell anybody what he's doing. There's people who say Obama barred certain news outlets. I think he barred like one or two. Trump is trying to bar like six different fucking news outlets from... Knowing what's going on. I think we as the American people have a right to know what the fuck our president is doing. And that's all there is to it. And just because the media is posting unflattering shit about you does not mean that it's false. And all the people that support him, man, there's literally videos that were made taking instances of shit he said like six, three or six months apart where he was in favor of somebody and then the next second he fucking hated him, where he was in favor of a certain thing, next second he didn't want it. When he didn't want something and the next fucking second he fucking wanted it. And a lot of the things that I'm talking about his opinion changed on as soon as he had to as soon as he ran for office as soon as his opinions had to line up for the people he was trying to get to vote for him that's when his opinions about this shit changed they're still the same up in his fucking head but verbally his answers to those questions changed so that the people that he was trying to fear monger and get to be behind him will be like, oh yeah, he's for us, he's for us. Because most of those people are not computer savvy and do not know how to just type in something and be like, is it true that this... Those people will also sit there and be like, oh, well you can't believe everything you see on the internet. I understand that I can't believe everything I see on the internet. But when I see video footage of a man who was asked the question with an interview and says one thing and then the next time they ask him all he would have had to do was say the same thing and I would trust him he would say, if he could be consistent for a fucking minute I would trust his ass but he fucking can't that's why people don't like Trump I said I thought he was greedy my mom and brother are sitting there. They both voted for him. I voted for Gary Johnson, so nobody get the idea I voted for Hillary, because I did not. Um, my brother goes, why do you think he's greedy? And my mom says, because he has money. It's not because he has money that I think he's fucking greedy. It's because of how he got his money. He's ripped people off, he's cheated people, he's paid people, a th like, two-thirds or half of what their fucking work was worth. 
he's gone bankrupt because he's not really good with business, but the the, the amount of times he's been unsuccessful versus the amount of times he's been successful, it's either about half and half. It's, you know, and everybody sits there and goes, oh, he's a successful businessman. A country is not a fucking business, for one thing. If our economy goes in the shitter, if pe if if other countries' worldviews of us goes in the shitter, our country goes in the shitter. Bottom fucking line. Your life declines, my life declines, everything goes to shit. Is he gonna be on the fucking bottom, scraping with us? Fuck no, because he has fucking money, and he always fucking will. Someone that is greedy and wants money and power, that's what real greed is. You want money because the money can give you power. That's why I think he's greedy. The reason he has money, the reason he likes having money, is because it gives him power. When you stand there and say, oh, I grabbed her by the pussy, they let you do whatever you want because you're famous. Because you're rich. It's not a question of did the lady consent to it, because I'm pretty sure she fucking did it. It's, it's because he acted like the consent doesn't fucking matter because he's wealthy. And the fucking idiots that voted for this piece of shit and sit there and say, oh, well, he is just locker room talk. Let's say you have a son or a daughter. And they're about 17, 18, 19 years old and they're in college. And some rich professor... If it's a daughter, he grabs her by the pussy. If it's your son, she grabs him by the dick, okay? Are you going to tell your kid, no, it's okay because they're rich. Just put up with it because they're rich. Or are you going to feel like they've been violated and you're going to stick up for them? Because I guarantee you, if you're any kind of fucking human at all, you would side with your child in that situation. But in this situation, you're siding with the fucking billionaire who you probably used to hate. But because he said the right amount of fucking words in the right fucking way, now you're all kissing his fucking ass and you're happy he's in office, but you know what? He's going to fuck up. And the minute he fucks up, y'all are going to be mad. You're going to be sitting there going, anything made me touch me. Me, 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 me. You're about to go in your morning because of him. And I'm going to go, I wish I could relate, but I didn't vote for hate. Bye. That's what I'm going to say when he fucks up our country. I don't know what that is. I don't. I don't want to chew it right now. Do you see it? I don't want to chew that right now. I'm not sure if any chocolates because of the fact that I want to mellow out the video a little bit. I think this is another one of those toffee things. Mm-hmm. That's like a... I don't know if I like that. Not horrible, but I don't know if I like it. Now I'm going to try one that looks like this. Ew. It's strawberry, but... I feel like it's like that Laffy Taffy texture bullshit. It never goes away. It sits in your mouth and never fucking goes away. And your digestive, like your your saliva, never digests it. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm kind of afraid. Oh, I can kind of see what it does. Kind of split open there. You guys can't see that, can you? Ew. Yeah, that's fucking coconut or something. 
I know it's barbaric for me to drink out of this big fucking jug by myself. But nobody drinks flavored tea at my house but me. Now I'm going to try this one and it feels very hard. I'm hoping it's not one of those strawberry things again or an orange one. Mm. Ew! That looks like baby shit. Oh, that's a coffee. I'm gonna chew the chocolate off of it though. Anybody else ever do that to the ones you don't like? Just bite the chocolate off of it. I know it seems like I'm eating all these, but I'm not. I'm just biting into them, and then when they turn out to be gross. Ooh. Why are these all, like, this chewy toffee shit? Nobody wants your ass. Russell, get your fucking shit together, okay, Russell? This one, I don't know what it is. It's thick. It's dark chocolate. It's round. There's fucking coconut. Get more. What is this one? It's got. It's the orange version of that fucking strawberry taffy shit. I know it. That's like buttercream or something. I thought it was orange because it has like an orange tint to it, but that's like that's like buttercream. I don't even want that. Get that out of my face. I have one, two, three, four of these left. I know what one of them is. This fucking thing. Is this again? I'm glad I only paid two seventy four for this because. That gives me the freedom to talk shit about everything in it. This might be the one decent one. Unless it's that fucking buttercream again. I don't, I don't know what it is. Oh. I don't know if I like that yet or not. Because the other one was like a maple flavor. Mm -mm. Nope. I have two left. This one. And this other one was I'm pretty sure it's fucking coconut again. I'm not picky. Like, I like certain things, but I just don't like chewy shit. Okay. It's not coconut, but I don't know what it is. I think it's like a chocolate cream thing, but it's got like a swirl to it. See, that one I can fuck with. It's not horrible. This one is hard. It's gonna be a chewy one. I don't want it. I know I'm not gonna like it. But I'm gonna bite it open for you guys. Three pieces of serving. Well, it's all fucking chewy, nasty bullshit. So anyone that would sit there and eat three fucking pieces of it has some warped ass fucking taste buds. Ugh. Ugh. 
So, time to bite into this beauty. Uh, that's caramel. That's like really fucking sick caramel. Caramel's good. Occasionally. When you make everything in the fucking box of chocolates caramel. I'm not gonna like you, Russell. I wish I probably did have a serving because I had a bite of the, like I ate a bite out of each one that was half decent. I still have a whole half a hoagie here. I'm probably not going to eat that right now. Have you guys heard the song Chain to the Rhythm by Katy Perry yet, by the way? That song is about fucking Illuminati. I don't care what anybody fucking says. <coughs> that song has blatant Illuminati symbolism in it. And not only that, if you listen to the part where Skip Marley is singing, okay, rapping, whatever he does in the song, he very clearly says, time is running out for the Empire, and the truth they speak is feeble. And to me, what that says is that this whole, like, power that be know that People are waking up to them, and the time is running out, so they're gonna try and, like, put something in fucking... They're gonna try and pull something, and I think putting Trump in office, because he is a member of the fucking elite. Do not kid yourselves into thinking, oh, well, he's just one of the big guys that decided to be a good guy. No, fuck you. You're fucking stupid if you fucking think he's a good guy, okay? Open your fucking ball, your fucking eyeball, okay? Um, but yeah, he... <coughs> There's something sketchy going on. It sounds like a conspiracy theory coming from me, because I'm not, like, a fucking analyst or, you know, whatever, but, man, fucking shit's going on in this world. You gotta stay awake. And this video is getting to be 38 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was trying to be entertaining today, because I felt like I was not very entertaining, like, normally I try and be about right here, and I felt like yesterday I was all the way down motherfucking here. And today I was trying to be like a little bit up here, you know. But anyways, um, I'm trying. I'm getting. I'm getting to feel better. My cold's kind of going away. You guys have a great day. Keep being the beautiful motherfuckers that you are. That I know you can be. That I know you can be. Um. I hope that this video was entertaining. I hope that you had a great time watching me be a goofball. Um, make sure to check out the links in the description to my playlists and everything, and my Patreon and everything, and have a great day, and I will see you in the future.